the tough thing about all this, all these things are, is like, do, uh, how do you find a balance between like, you know, I'm going to set these boundaries. And I'm going to set these standards of how I should be treated and how, what, how I expect my partner to, to act and behave without controlling them and without making them feel like ha- having them feel like they're walking on eggshells, you know, like, Oh, I better watch what I say when I'm around Doug. Oh, I better watch what I'm do when I'm around Angela. Cause I know that chief, if I do X, she'll do Y and you don't like, so yes, you do want to have these standards and these boundaries, right? So you can create a very like healthy relationship with that person, but you also still want to have that playfulness with them. And I think when you have the bar too high and it feels like very like military, yeah, you know, then that <laughs> that's not fun for right. the other person. Well, they're constantly worrying, like thinking of like, if I do this, will I get in trouble? Right. That- you know, what, what, what am I doing that's getting me in trouble constantly with this I, person? I think the, the playful banter is okay. As long as it's not like something disrespectful, like you might be saying, oh, you know something bad. I don't, don't want to bring up bring up anything bad, but you know someone could be saying something super bad, but saying, "Hell, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you." But you know, well, there's like a difference between saying like, "Oh, you, you know, you always lose the keys," versus you know, you're not that you weren't that smart in school or something. Like there, yeah. like there's there's a difference That's of like <laughs> you know, or you know, there's something wrong with someone's body, or you know, something that you would do to put that person down. Some people do that as a joke, and. I don't think that's a joke. I also don't think it's appropriate if people are in a relationship and they comment on other people. Like if they're watching TV and be like, oh, that girl has a nice ass. Or if a girl yeah. says, oh, that guy's attractive. Yeah. I, I, agree I with love you. my that's husband. I only want my husband. I will never say that. I don't even look at guys. But yeah. I, I don't say that, and he doesn't say that to me. And I think something, too, is with setting the standard is being the example. Mm-hmm of be, d- not doing certain behaviors and yeah. seeing how they and like that. And just because they're like a celebrity doesn't mean, it doesn't like give you a rite of passage to say Absolutely it. Absolutely Because not. I've, I, I've heard the argument where it's like, well, I say that about this person because there's no way, you know, I'm ever going to fuck Ben Affleck or I'm <laughs> never going to fuck Kim Kardashian you know, all these things. But like, it yeah. doesn't matter, though. Yeah. Like, first of all, like, anything can They're real people. Ha- all, My husband dated happen. Chris Brown's mom, okay? Like, yeah. they're real people. They're yeah. not anything can happen. aliens. Like, they're real people. After COVID and having the world get locked down for two years, dude, I, I truly believe anything can happen. And it's just even... Even if you do, I'm not saying like you don't have to think like other attractive people exist, right? It's mm-hmm. obvious. Like other attractive people exist, but you don't need to uh, say that out, especially in front of your partner. I just think like, that's, that's not. It cool. doesn't matter if like even if you do think they're attractive. I just yeah. think that's even disrespectful. If on TV. And yeah, but there's some relationships that they do that, and they'll, you know, a guy will be like, "Oh, this girl's." pretty and this and that and they're fine with that but i just think you know certain things aren't good for a relationship and yeah. that's one of them 100 percent. i'm with you every way on that 